I guarantee you will not break one of these. Brilliant weapon, definitely worth the money. In this video, we're gonna learn in all about the Eskrima stick selection we have at Enzo Martial Arts. I'm gonna be talking about all the different types of Eskrima, who would use them, what they're made from, why you'd want to buy these Eskrima sticks over the other Eskrima sticks, so about the different features of the Eskrima sticks. And at the end, I'm gonna to put together a short montage of people training in Filipino stick fighting styles. Hi, my name's Doug Swift. I'm the owner of Enzo Martial Arts and I've been doing martial arts for the past 33 years. If you're liking this video, click the little icon in the bottom right hand corner of the video, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos from Enzo Martial Arts. So let's get into this video and learn all about the Eskrima sticks we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. So quite a few years ago I actually made a video with all the different types of Eskrima sticks we have at Enzo Martial Arts. I thought it probably didn't have enough information in it, so it was about time to give you a bit more information on all the Eskrima sticks that we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. So who uses the Eskrima sticks? Well it's mainly Filipino fighting styles, it's nearly all the people that are going to be buying and these are from Filipino fighting styles, Arnis, Eskrima, Kali, systems like that. There's a whole range of Filipino styles all throughout all the villages and the towns all across the Philippines and different islands. But we do occasionally get Kung Fu guys that come and train with the Eskrima sticks. There's a style called Wu Town in Bristol and they do buy these and they'll be practicing like locks and takedowns and blocks and strikes with these so they do crop up in other like other martial arts but mainly it's the Filipino martial arts to buy these. We have four different types of scream sticks for sale you can see them all on the website we've got them all listed out and also we've got individual different videos on each of these individual products so as they come up or as I'm talking about them I'll put up a little card above me it will come up and if you want to watch a full video on that product it will be there and you can watch it as you like. I'll also put all the links in the description to those videos. So we have four different types of Eskrima sticks, possibly five which I'll mention why in a bit and I'll go through these individually. So the first one we have is a Rattan Eskrima stick. Now Rattan is a really really popular product for Eskrima sticks. Now some people like them with the skin taken off so people will shave the skin off to be able to spar with them, it makes them a bit softer. Or a lot of people just leave the skin on which does leave them very very hard to train with. So if you're doing a lot of partner work where you're hitting each other, maybe you might want to invest in some armour, something like that. If you're doing a lot more locks and, and throws and takedowns, leaving the skin on is absolutely fine. But Rattan is a very, very durable weapon. It's also very, very commonly grown in the Philippines, so therefore a really popular product. But it gets confused a lot with bamboo. Now if you look at it, it's solid all the way through. Bamboo is hollow, so it doesn't splinter like bamboo, so it actually makes a perfect weapon for martial arts. So you do get the Eskrima sticks in Rattan, but you also get a lot of other products in Rattan. So you get the, the Rattan bow staffs, which are very flexible. You get Rattan chi sao rings, which you might just see in the top corner up there. Loads of different products with the Rattan, really, really popular martial arts product. So these Rattan sticks come in about two foot, very lightweight, very, very easy to use. Definitely by far our most popular selling Eskrima stick at Enzo. So the second Eskrima stick is the Tiger Eskrima stick. Now this is this is named Tiger Eskrima stick purely because of its design, because it has burn, burnt patterning in all the way along the Eskrima stick and all the way around. So it's called the Tiger Eskrima stick just because of the burnt stripes in it. Now it is just the standard Rattan Eskrima stick, again two foot length, very lightweight, very popular and and the burnt pattern is purely, purely a design choice whether people like it or not. And just I guess because of the extra work needed, it's just slightly more expensive than the standard rattan. But again, very popular when people see these in the shop and they, they, have, a, they have a look at them. They, they tend to go for these over the rattan just because of the design and they like, like the look of it. Now sometimes these are a little bit different. We do get slightly different patterning in them from time to time. We'll do our absolute best to update the website as much as possible so you can see exactly what you're going to get in the post. And if it is different from what you've bought on the website um, to what we've got in, we obviously will contact you and let you know. That's the Tiger Eskrima stick, the second Eskrima stick we have at Enzo. So the third Eskrima stick is the foam padded Eskrima stick. Now again, this is two foot in length, very lightweight, 
perfect for sparring, really good. Now if you do want to do stick fighting with a partner and you don't have a lot of armour, this is a great, great choice. Really soft, really nice and padded. I mean, if someone's going to whack you full pelt around the head, you're going to know about it. It's going to give you a knock, but it's not going to break anything like the, like the rattan possibly will. Really good, sensible choice if you fancy sparring with a scream of sticks with a two foot stick. So it's made up of a plastic core all the way down the middle, quite a thin plastic core with a foam padding on the outside. So quite a thick foam padding. Now, these are very durable, but if you're going to be smashing breeze blocks or hitting it on the floor all the time or hitting it against metal weapons, things like that, the foam will chip away. It's not completely indestructible. It will break apart. So if you just use this for purpose, sparring with a friend, hitting against other foam sticks or even rattan sticks, this will last you for ages. Super, super dur durable if used for purpose. The other nice little feature it has on it is it has a dragon motif on it so just a golden dragon just printed into the foam which is just a really nice little feature so the fourth possibly finally screamer stick is the cold steel unbreakable screamer stick that we have for sale now these are longer than the standard two foot so you can see see the difference in length here of the standard scream stick so probably two and a half feet a bit longer now these are, and these are also quite a bit heavier than the rattan, so a fair bit of weight to them. Now this is made out of a polypropylene, like a plastic. Very, very consistent in terms of its grain effectively all the way through, how it's made up. So the, I think it's injection molded polypropylene. So yeah, very consistent, ever so strong, crazy durable. If they're used for purpose, they are unbreakable. If you use them for stick fighting, if you use them for like weapons training, these are unbreakable. I guarantee you will not break one of these. If you set out on a mission to break it and you start hacking it with chainsaws and driving cars over it and all the rest of it, I'm sure you could find a way to break it. But used for martial arts, this is unbreakable. Absolutely brilliant, brilliant weapon. Re definitely worth the money because there's no reason why you'd need to buy another one. Like, buy one for life. So if you look at the design, you can see that they've injection molded it into the shape of bamboo. So it's got those little notches all the way along, all the way up. Now this is really good for grip. Your hand kind of sinks in to the, into the divots a little bit. So it gives you really good grip. Also the outer coating kind of has that bamboo design into it, into it in between. So it's a little bit grippy. So yeah, really good grip it is a lot of weight. Now, word on the street with the Filipino stick fighting guys is that you actually want to spar against someone else with one of these. They go through rattan like crazy and they'll go through the foam padded ones like crazy. So if you did want to practice sparring with another stick fighter, it's best to have one each and then and then you've just basically got unlimited training with, with this stick. So yeah, really, really good weapon. It also cuts down. So if you did want to just have a two foot stick, you could just chop it and it would work perfect. Now, not an Escrima stick at all, but if you did want to practice the Filipino styles where they have the longer three foot stick, and you do see them now and again, the longer stick, also the stick with the knife, you might want to get from us an oak hambo. So this is the white oak hambo. We do do them in red oak as well. It was just a three foot length. Now this is made out of oak, so it's very, very solid. And I know it's not an Escrima stick, but if you wanted that longer length, this is probably the best option for you buying from Enzo Martial Arts. So yeah, very, very hard. You probably wouldn't want to do full contact sparring with this. It would just be way, way too hard. It also, if you're beating it repeatedly against another oak stick, there is a chance that you could break it. But in terms of practicing techniques and practicing lock strikes, blocks, takedowns, this is a really, really good option. So as promised at the beginning of the video, here's a short montage of people training with the scrim sticks.
thanks very much. I hope it was useful. I hope you learned loads about the screen mistakes we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. If you like this video, click the little icon in the bottom right hand corner, subscribe to this channel and get all the videos from Enzo Martial Arts. Thanks very much and I'll see you soon. Cheers.